This question says, Maria is a set designer for a film production company. For one scene, she must design a banner to hang across an archway. She sets up the banner so that the top edge can be modelled by a straight line with equation 3y plus 2x equals 4. <coughs> the archway can be modelled by the quadratic equation y plus x squared is equal to 3. So you can see, there we have the diagram. Derive a quadratic, and the question says, derive a quadratic equation satisfied by x and hence determine the coordinates of the points a and b where the banner needs to be attached. Okay, so what you've got here, you've got your quadratic uh, curve, and then going across it, you've got the top edge of a, ba a banner. So re really this question is a fancy way of doing a solving a linear equation and a simultaneous equations with one linear and one quadratic. So I'm going to write down two equations, and then we'll come back to this and see if it makes sense. So your two equations are y plus x squared is equal to 3. That's your quadratic equation. And I'll call that equation 1. And we'll be rearranging these. And your linear equation is 3y plus 2x is equal to 4. That's my equation 2. Now, what you want to do in these equations is rearrange. So it's just basically this whole thing just comes down to one linear equation, one simultaneous equation. So what you do is you rearrange the linear equation. And I'm going to rearrange it to make y the subject. So I've got 3y is equal to 4 minus 2x. That means 1y would be equal to, I'm just going to write it as a fraction, 4 minus 2x all over 3. And what I'm going to do with this is sub it into uh, equation 1. So when I say sub into, what I mean is everywhere you see y in equation 1, I'm going to replace it with 4 minus 2x all over 3. So that becomes 4 minus 2x all over 3 plus x squared is equal to 3. Okay, this is pretty ugly. So what you can do with it to make it a wee bit better is multiply through by 3. So if you multiply this term by 3, what happens is you just get rid of the 3 in the denominator. So you're just left with 4 minus 2x. If you multiply the x squared by 3, you'll just get 3x squared. Multiply the 3 by 3, you will get 9. So again, it's a mess. We'll bring it all to one side, put it equal to 0. I have 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. 9 comes across from minus 9, so that's minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so hopefully this solves as we can factorize this using our sum and product method. So my sum is minus 2, my product is minus 15. So I need to find two numbers that multiply to give minus 2. So I multiply to give minus 15 and add to give minus 2. So there are minus 5 and 3 would work. So we'll rewrite this as 3x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. Pull an x outside of brackets, you're left with 3x minus 5. And over here, pull a 1 outside, you're left with 3x minus 5. So we've got the same common brackets, so we're on the right track. So it comes 3x minus 5 upon x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then you're in this lovely position in mathematics where you've got a times b equals 0. So that happens when either a is equal to 0, which in this case, 3x minus 5 equals 0, or the b is equal to 0. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here, 3x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 over 3. And over here, x is equal to minus 1. Okay, let's have a look. Have we done this? We have to find, determine, it's very blurry there, apologies, but determine a quadratic equation, blah, 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 done that. Derive a quadratic equation, we have done that. and uh, determine the coordinates. So we've got one of the ordinates, just we've just got the x bit. So we're going to put our x values back into this equation. So we'll just say when x equals 5 over 3, y is going to be equal to uh, 4 minus 2 times 5 over 3, and then divide it by 3. We're just going to do that. I'm just going to do up my calculator now. So 4 times, 4 times, uh, what was it, or 4 minus, sorry, 2 times 5 over 3, and then divide that by 3. What that will give me is 2 over 9. So that gives me 2 over 9. So one of my coordinates is 5 over 3, which I'll write as 1 and 2 thirds, and then 2 over 9. And then the other one was when x equals minus 1 y is going to be equal to 4 minus 2 times minus 1 all over 3. And again, I'm just going to file that into my calculator. So 4, uh, 4 minus 2 times minus 1. 
and that is six and then divide by three that's a much nicer one that just gives you two so my other coordinate is much nicer it is minus one two okay i would look back at the diagram and see if they make sense so my coordinates are minus one two and one and two thirds and two ninths and there you are minus one two would be here and the other one what was that sorry one and two thirds and two ninths and you can see it would be here so that would be your a and your b uh, so determine the coordinates of the points a and b so i'll just answer that your answer a would be the minus one two and b would be one and two thirds two ninths